Tom, G and Carrie, Happy New Year. It is 2016. Um, yes, 2015 is over and I, think, I, I feel like it's about time now for me to give a roundup of what happened in the last year. I've got it all written down here so that I can remember everything that I need to say. So that's why I'm not completely in with the camera. Um, so let's begin. Um, first, the uh, biggest news stories of the year, of course, it would not be a roundup if I didn't mention the dreadful attacks in Paris in January or in the past few months and also around the world. Um, but of course, that was not the only news of the last year. For instance, NASA found running water on Mars. This may not sound amazing to some, but for others, it's a great breakthrough in science. Um, the country was split over the 2015 general election, which ultimately ended with David Cameron continuing as Prime Minister with the Tories. Um, Ed Miliband resigned and was replaced by a man whom I now would describe as that scruffy bloke, Jeremy Corbyn, who we also discovered has a passion for manhole covers. Um, Greece ran into debt and Hurricane Patricia struck. Uh, the UK also decided to name their storms, but it's not quite the same. I mean, Abigail, Barney, yeah. Um, a new princess was born this year with the name Charlotte Elizabeth Diana, but that could nowhere near uh, balance out the celebrity death of the year. Although he lived long and prospered, Leonard Nimoy was beamed up. The legendary Sir Terry pra Pratchett reached his final page, and we could no longer stand by Ben E. King. We also lost the beloved Anne Kirkbride, famous, of course, for her portrayal of Deidre Barlow in Corrie. And Christopher Lee, famous, of course, for his portrayal of every horror character ever. The loss of a true national treasure shook the country when R. Silla Black left the screens. Novelist Jackie Collins and rugby player Jonah Lomu were also amongst those to part with us this year, as well as Shirley Stell Fox, better known as Edna from Emmerdale. But this is only a small fraction of those who died this year. Another huge talking point was music. One Direction were real headliners uh, with their loss to Royal Blood at the Brits. Well, they also lost Zayn Malik of course and their temporary hiatus left millions in tears and of course we didn't do great at Eurovision again. But what music was huge in the UK charts? Uh, Mark Ronson was massively underappreciated um, with, when, when Uptown Funk went big under Bruno Mars, Omi arrived from nowhere with Cheerleader, and Hosea's Take Me to Church also makes the top ten songs of the year, followed by Love Me Like You Do and See You Again by Ellie Golding and Wiz Khalifa, featuring Charlie Poof, respectively. Uh, Major Lazer, featuring Mo and DJ Snake, brought us Lean On, and James Bay brought us Hold Back the River. Rounding off the list were King Sugar and Once Again Thinking Out Loud by Years and Years, Maroon 5 and Ed Sheeran, respectively. New TV once again came in bucket loads. The BBC brought us SEO Trot by Roald Dahl, I Survived the Zombie Apocalypse, The Big Painting Challenge, Pole Dark, Ordinary Lines, Peter Kay's Car Share, The Naked Choir, The Great Pottery Throwdown, Dr. Foster and Josh, just to name a few. The BBC brought us so much quality content this year. ITV was also keen to debut new programmes, however, such as Mel and Sue, Bear Groove, Mission, Surpri Mission Survive, Ninja Warrior UK, Newsoids, Jekyll and Hyde, and, and a true spectacle in the Sound of Music Live, as well as many, many others. Channel 4 was not to be outdone, bringing a threesome that brought light on same-sex relationships, cucumber, banana, and tofu. They cashed in on the election with Ballot Monkeys, UKIP, the first 100 days, and Coalition. Tattoo Fixers proved to be a huge success, and Educating Cardiff and Very British Problems reflected UK life once more. The most watched TV this year was by far The Great British Bake Off, with five separate episodes taking up the top five most viewed shows of the year. The final of BGT made it, to, made it to spot number six before Bake Off took the final four spots in the top ten. A huge year for EastEnders celebrating 30, year, 30 years and finally revealing the killer of Lucy Bill to be her younger brother, Bobby. Katie Price won the winter series of Celebrity Big Brother. Jules and Matisse won Britain's Got Talent. James Hill from The Apprentice won the summer series of Celebrity Big Brother. And Chloe Wilburn won the normal Big Brother. Louisa Johnson won The X Factor. Jane McGuinness from The Wanted won Strictly. And Vicky Patterson from Geordie Shaw uh, became the winner of I'm a Celebrity. Uh, film. It seems like it was the classics for film that made a comeback this year with Jurassic World being top 
of the highest grossing films of the year, followed by Furious 7 and Avengers Age of Ultron. Star Wars The Force Awakens is slowly climbing the ladder, but it is at number four at the moment. Minions, Inside Out, and Spectre are next on the list, with Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2, and The Martian finishing off the list. And that is 2015 in a summary. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome new year. Thank you.